yes hello welcome back to my channel today is day two of me being in the village of course i'm not counting the day i arrived if i count the day that i arrived those are day three days but i'm counting this is day two so day two i'm it's already 3 p.m and what i'm going to do i'm going to prepare supper and today i've decided it's cassava and beans of course what I did in the morning, what I did first after tea, I put on beans. And these beans were hard beans, hard dried beans. So all I did, I put them on for about three hours. They are now ready and I've, I'm going to prepare cassava. Yes, cassava is what we are going to have with beans too. So... I'm going to take you through the process and this is how I'm going to start it. I'm going to start it by heading to the to the garden and uproot cassava. Okay, thanks. If you've not yet turned on the notifications, turn them on. Also subscribe to the channel and keep visiting. For you who has come here for the second time, I thank you and I say thanks. Let's grow the family. Tell about a friend about this channel. I'm Ivan Atire, Uganda. Bye-bye. Cassava is a root tuber, meaning we have to look for it from under the ground and do the harvesting. This is it. Nice. After getting cassava, I always make sure that I cover where I dug and I make sure there is some plants I cover within there. These plants will rot and make the soil fertile. Organic manure. Yes, yeah, some people do the peeling from the garden because when they leave the peelings behind, they will also rot and leave and become fertilizers within the, within time. 
for me i'll take them home and make sure that i peel from home do the preparing from home and because there are different animals like goats and pigs at home which do it these peelings yeah that's why i took the cassava home the other remainings can be dried and get cassava flour in future Like that. Yeah, these are the remainings that can't be eaten because they are they're not soft these are the ones but when you dry them you can get you can you'll, in the future you'll pound them and then get cassava flour from them which cassava flour is also a meal meaning that is another video for another time that's why i put them aside and after the whole process i will take them at the rock because we have the near, a nearby rock that's where they will dry properly
We use banana leaves to cover the food and these banana leaves have a stain. You can't use them with that stain. That's why I had to remove the stain such that they can easily be folded to cover our food such that we don't lose steam because it's steam that cooks food and these ones protect most of the steam and let a little go and that's how cooking should be done. So I'm going to use the banana leaf stains because I don't want to just throw in my cassava. I want it to be somewhere up, not in the water directly. I don't want it to swim in the water. That's why I'm putting these banana stems. Why? Banana leaf stems. I just want the, this cassava to be heat by steam and then get what I want. That way, the cassava will look great, will look good because I've not mashed it directly in water. After properly covering my food, I will need a calculated volume of water on, into the saucepan and this is how I did it. Yeah, put in enough water, put in two cups, those were enough and it was time for heating the food. setting the fire and put my saucepan on that's how it goes This is how the cassava looked and I had my beans aside. I put in some granites and got that stew. Anyway, we come to the end of the video. Please subscribe, turn on the notifications and share. Bye-bye.